So as you guys may or may not know, hopefully you do. If not, go check out that video. We did the odd age draft. So now we're going to be doing the even age draft. And I would just like to preface once again by saying, I don't care if they've had a birthday, anything like that. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going based off of what their age is in this game. That's it. And as we do, let's go ahead and randomize the team we get here. Boom. We get the Detroit Red Wings. My dad would be pretty happy right now. All right. So fantasy draft is on. We don't want the coach to edit our lines. Fog of War. Almost forgot to turn that off. Thankfully, I noticed that now. Player morale. Once again, we will leave it on. But I will turn off morale meetings because those suck. Ooh, we got pick number eight. That's actually not too bad. All right. Let's start the draft here and see who's available at that point. I mean, obviously only seven players will be gone, so we will definitely be getting a very good player. Don't have to be worried about that. It's just which very good player are we gonna take? Pasta, I've taken him before. Didn't really turn out too well, honestly. Not as good as I thought he was going to be in the simulation. I'm gonna take Austin Matthews. Yep, 22 years of age, 91 overall. And hopefully he simulates better than Pasta. I'm also going to try to breeze through this one. I want to do draft picks as fast as possible. So Blake Wheeler, 34. Sure, why not? I, I know the cap is going to be a problem right away because we have 20 million already tied up in two players. But let's see if we can recover from that. Taylor Hall, 4 million, 28 years of age. That is a prime time pick right there. Probably should, you know, look at the rear here soon. Try to get some defensemen or a goaltender. Jeff Petrie's prime. 32 and 5.5 million. Absolutely, I'm taking Jeffrey. Let's take Sonk because 6.3 million is not a crazy amount. And he's also 34. I, I'm going to take a goalie soon. But if Perron is still there next round, I'm taking him first. And then I'll try to go for a goaltender. No, Perron got taken. That's big lame. I'm. Oh, wait, no, he's right in front of my face. Never mind. I take that back. Boom. Huge pick. Dobby normally simulates good for me. 3.3 million, 34. Yeah, that's going to work out just fine. Timothy, Jimothy, you know I would have picked you if I could have. But unfortunately, you just had to have an odd age. So I'm going to take to Foley instead. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm taking Rust. In fact, I take that back immediately. We need another center. He's very expensive, but I'm going to take Krejci regardless. Let's take Jake Gardner. He's only making 4 million and he's 30 years of age so that is obviously an even number that works out good for us i probably want to take a backup goalie soon and uh yeah i'm probably gonna do that now henrik lundqvist redeemed himself last time so a good backup for 1.5 million cannot go wrong with that and i know that normally i do take a lot of old players in this draft but they're just so good their contract isn't crazy expensive and they're a good overall so i i know i'm only doing one year the computers don't know that so, you know, they're probably drafting for the future, which is their mistake, not mine. Let's take Connor Brown. 3.6 million, 82 overall. It's not bad. I was about to say 82 years of age, which that's not going to happen in the NHL. Well, actually, I think Yager begs to differ. If I want to get even near the cap space, I got to start finding some really cheap contracts. So, Athenasiu is going to be a very good pickup for that situation. Oh, Felino, 1.3 and 32 years of age. Yeah, that is another very good pickup. We still only have two centers, which is a little concerning, but maybe one of these wingers can play center, probably, honestly. Felino probably has a decent face-off rating. The Wayne Train, 32, 1.5 million, does not get more prime than that. Wow, when I said we were gonna fly through this, I didn't expect to fly through it this fast. We only need two centers and three more defensemen, and we are good to go, which actually, three more defensemen little worried about that one. Uh, we could take Demir's, I suppose. 3.9 million, 32 years of age. <laughs> 32. Wait, no, that's right. 32 years of age. Why did that sound weird for some reason? I thought I mixed it up with overall again, which I am very good at doing. I probably did and then immediately forgot about it. And now I just like doubled down. Broussard's going to be a good pick because he is a $1 million player. So I will absolutely pick him up for the third slash fourth line, I suppose. I don't know where he'll be. Travis Hamanick, 1.2 million. I mean, we have 9.5 actually now. So we do have some cap space to burn, honestly here, but let's take Hamanick anyway. 30 years of age, 1.2 million and 81 overall as well. He's actually right wing slash center. So I'm going to take uh, Achari here to be our fourth line center slash third line center. Again, who really knows where he'll end up. But on that note, we only need one more defenseman and we are already good to go. All right, we actually have $6.6 .6 million of cap space. So I really don't got to be too picky here with defensemen. But I guess really the best player we could go with anyways is Strawman, 81 overall and 5.5 million so let's go ahead make that pick 
and let's go put this team together. Hopefully, I didn't forget about the age somewhere and take, you know, an odd-aged player, but I probably did. So we're going to have to make up for that. I'm pretty confident in this team. I, I feel like recently I haven't been super confident because I was confident and then we didn't do good. But I don't know. This time I actually do have a pretty good feeling about this team. Only time will tell, though. For all I know, we are going to get absolutely destroyed. Almost forgot to turn off injuries. That could have been catastrophic. But Wayne Train, leading the team right now, you love to see it. And we are also 0-1. Don't love to see it. These lines are kind of weird. Like, that third line is insane, but it's a plus three. So I think I'm going to keep it. And on defense, ooh, we might have to make some maneuvers here. That works for me. That, that'll, oh, but Dotchin, he's 26, but he's not the guy I drafted. Who is the guy I drafted? We have Strawman. All right, let's try plugging him in and see if it breaks everything. It doesn't break everything, but it does get rid of our plus ones everywhere. But, oh, that's a plus three. I'm going to try that then. And then if we can really try to get rid of that minus one. Ooh, I think I'll take zeros. Yeah, I will take that to get that plus three on the first pair. And then in net, we've got Hudobin. Okay, let me check the ages now. So we're good there. Those are both even. Starting line. Yes, we... He was 22 when I drafted him. What the heck is that? You know what? I'm still counting it. Screw that. Because he was 22 when I drafted him. He's one that I know for sure. So I'm not I'm not changing that. Uh, but I'll, I'll check everyone else. And Broussard. Roll back the footage. Go back. He was... Uh, he was... Yeah. No. I'm, no. Screw this. We're going. He is a $1 million player. So I will absolutely pick him up for the third slash fourth line, I suppose. I don't know where he'll be. Of course, I decided to do a draft by the category that can actually change, you know? Like, it's the one where you draft them, they're one thing, and then next thing you know, nope. We're off to a very good start, though. So, you know what? Honestly, though, if we go back and one of them between Broussard and Matthews wasn't an even age when I drafted them... Fair game, 100% my fault, this video is cancelled. But, I'm not buying it. I remember specifically looking at those two players, and they were an even age. So, I'm either going to find out when I edit this that I really screwed up, which is a very real possibility, or they just went up in age after I drafted them, and then we simmed the preseason so i don't know i know i'm gonna jinx it but i find it very weird that we are 35 games into the season and have not had a single overtime loss yet that is absurd honestly i see we got a shootout win so you know that was a possibility but no we ended up taking it home i'm actually kind of wondering like what's the record in an 82 game season for the least amount of overtime losses like the absolute smallest number in that third column ever that'd be an interesting stat to know i mean really it just looks like we're very good under pressure because i see three overtime well two shootout wins against the flyers back to back but then an overtime win against the sabers up there so let's just keep our trading block enter the trade deadline and let's see which players are on the block we got the yeti himself tata getslav mrazic allmark backland smith we've got sod Rene, and duclair all right there you go. Those are the headliners of this year's trade deadline. Every time I exit the trade deadline, it just gives me this weird scream with like the skeleton of the UI and it's very weird looking. Brent Burns headed to Montreal in exchange for a second Tomasino and McLeod. That's an interesting trade. Wow, I didn't realize how good this team is actually doing. We are pretty much at the end of the season here and we just entered double digit losses uh, in regulation. That is nasty. Wow, we are 57. Come on, get 57. Really, you fired your coach now? Last game of the season? We might have won the Presidents, actually, which... I don't know how often that happens in these drafts, but not very. I also realized I never made any predictions for this one, so that's unfortunate. I completely forgot about that, but we did take the Presidents, and it wasn't even close. We had 10 more points than the Oilers, who finished second, so that is saying something. We just put a statement on the whole league, and the top 16 teams made it. I love it when it works out like that. Our top point guy was Matthews, and he only had 79. That is weird. Brown with 61? Let's go, Connor. Holy crap. Taylor Hall was 60. He was a 27 plus. Perron was a dash three. Uh, five. Apparently, uh, I can't read anymore, so that's fun. Wheeler was also a dash three. Sonk with the 30. Love to see that. We got Rust with 26. Okay, let's just go to the bottom here. Who had the least amount of points? Strawman and Hamannick. That's okay. And net, the goalies, did they let me down? No, they did not. Dobby never does, I don't think. <laughs> he had five shutouts, a 916, 244, and 45 wins. That might be first in the league. And then Hank went 
12, 7, and 0 with a 9, 13, 261. Let's actually check out the whole league and see how he did in the entire league with 45 wins. That is the most. Varlamov was second with 40. So we know for sure we're taking home individual trophies, which is awesome. Marner put up 99. Overchicken with 97. Malkin, Huberdo. Okay, there we go. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, Mitch Marner with the Art Ross. There you go. Nobody cracked the triple digits for individual points this year, though. So that's interesting. But let's go ahead and simulate the playoffs and get first rounded as per usual. That's how this goes. We know that by now. Washington Capitals. Are they going to do it to us? Are they going to do us dirty? Probably, honestly. Oh, all right. Never mind. Let's go. We got the Mount Real Kenna Gents. Can we take them out? Oh, boy. Oh? Oh? Are you kidding? We almost had the reverse sweep and we blew it in game seven. Grow up. Well, congrats to Chicago for taking home Stanley. I am going to go ahead and I suppose we could look at their stats. Matthews, once again, not point a game in the playoffs. Very shocking, honestly, to me. I thought for sure we'd have point a game, but whatever. We did well, so I'm not going to get upset about that by any means. Yeah, they had Martin. We saw that. They had... Kakaniemi, Silverberg, Alex Tuck, Chikrin, they got Dickinson, Ma I forget how to pronounce it, Mangiapane, something like that, Mangiapane, uh, Rupe Hints, they got Yoel Armia, Lucas Raymond, their team really isn't insane by any means, what about Inet, who they have as a goalie, they got Varlamov, all right, I, I don't get it. For awards, we already know that. We already knew that. And okay, the Devils ended up making it to the finals. Marner with the Ross, as we saw. And the Hart, Carlson with the Norris. Lady Bing goes to Backstrom. Lafreniere gets the Calder. It's normally... Why am I blanking on his name right now? The Minnesota Wild guy. What is happening? Oh, oh, I had it for a second. Kirill. Kirill the Thrill. Kaprizov. There we go. Marner, Conn Smythe, Vesna, And the Jennings goes to Hudobin. Zadorov with the Masterton, Jack Adams to Beijing, I can assume. I really doubt it's begin. Uh, we got O'Reilly with the Selkie, Ted Lindsay to Marner, and Ovi with the Maurice Rocket Richard. And here are the Stanley Cup playoffs, guys. So there you have it. This was the even age draft. I still think the game did me dirty by making those players become an odd age after I drafted them. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I know. I'm... At least 75% sure that they were an even age when I drafted them. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. That would be awesome as well. And yeah, just thank you guys for showing up these videos. I'm glad you guys are enjoying them, and I will see you soon.